Hello my beautiful Capricorns, um, happy new year and happy birthday. Um, thank you for your patience, I took a much needed break but I am back now and I'm here to do your reading. We're going to start with what is coming your way this year, what you can expect in 2022 and then of course we're going to have a look into your love life. So in terms of uh, the blessings coming your way this year, you have a blessing to lift sadness um, and similar messages have come through, you know, a blessing for peace of mind and a blessing of forgiveness. So it looks like if you have been experiencing a difficult situation, it could be, you know, in your relationships um, or it could be totally unrelated. Um, it just looks like you are heading into happier times. There's going to be a weight lifted off your shoulders. Don't forget with a blessing of forgiveness, it's just important, just as important to forgive yourself for any perceived wrongdoings as it is um, forgiving others. Okay, so think about how you can um, let go of guilt and regret and just move forward. Okay, like like this archer. I mean, it's, it's time to look forward rather than holding on to pain and resentment from the past. Now, this actually is a card about a blessing on a new venture. Many of you will be maybe turning a hobby into an income this year. Um, I am seeing some kind of creative venture and it's coming through in these cards as well. These self-care cards are talking about the need for you to learn to make something new. So some of you, you will be creating new things with your hands because this card says do what you do well. Now in this card we see a green thumb. So many of you will be um, gardening, doing something in nature um, or using nature to create something. Okay. So this card says um, what are the things that you do well and enjoy doing? Make time to do them as often as possible and while you're at it share your skills and enthusiasm with others. Perhaps you're one of the world's best bargain hunters. Why not lead a bargain hunting safari for your friends on a monthly basis? It could be something totally different. You could um, decide to join a volunteer organization and then um, you know, a new venture might emerge out of that. Um, you've got celebrate yourself. You have explore new ways to heal and yep, yeah, learn to make something. Um, it could be anything. You could be learning to make a new dessert, a new meal of some sort. Um, you could be learning how to repair something. Um, this is a great opportunity to make something you've thought about but have never gotten around to learning. So, you know, maybe you want to sign up to a course. Um, you might need to go out and buy a, a how-to book. Um, or just, you know, search something on YouTube, how to make X, Y, Z. Um, and friends are good places to learn those new skills. So um, you might have a friend that might be able to teach you something. Um, not only will this allow you to build something tangible, but it will help you to rebuild self-esteem. Okay, so, you know, that is a new way to heal. This card says um, it's an opportune time to try a new form of healing that you've heard about. Um, so yeah, any kind of healing modality, it could be Reiki, it could be just meditation, anything, um, explore it. Um, this exercise is useful for its possible health benefits and its potential for personal growth and mind expansion. From acupuncture to flotation tanks to keeping a macrobiotic diet indulge your curiosity and expand your healing vocab okay and celebrate yourself obviously because it's your birthday this has come out um, because spirit always likes to acknowledge your birthday so um, it's important that you um, celebrate your achievements over the last 12 months it's important that you um, remember everything that you're grateful for okay uh, so yeah, interesting cards. In terms of your general messages, you have um, accept struggles as lessons. So remember I saw a difficult situation and I said, you know, um, sadness is being lifted and you've got happier times ahead. Um, you can heal faster by, you know, thinking, 
right, you know, that wasn't an, an ideal situation and maybe I was treated unfairly, but what did I learn? What valuable thing did I learn? What valuable nugget of wisdom came as a result of that struggle, okay? Then you've got everyone has value. So we are all on a different journey. We're all learning different things and it takes some of us a longer time um, to, to learn than others. So remember, you know, everyone has value. Just accept that um, we're all different. We all have a different purpose. We all have something to contribute. And um, we've got follow the golden rule, which is treat unto others how you would like to be treated. All right. So don't, you know, um, judge people so quickly. That could be something that you need to work on in 2022. Um, so let's move on. Let's see what else we can expect uh, in 2022 for you. I'm going to use um, the, what do you call this deck? Oh, I've forgotten the name of it. I'll put it in the description box. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is in store for Capricorn. I've been on a break and I've seriously forgotten so many things. Still in holiday mode. <laughs> Alright, Angels and Spirit, what can Capricorn expect in 2022, please? It was on the tip of my tongue just then. Angels and Spirit, what can Capricorn expect in 2022, please? You're definitely discovering something new, creating something new, exploring something new. This is a card about new territory and it's like that new venture card that came out. Um, you have the shell. It says certain matters in a situation are not being communicated. So there's something being hidden. Um, so you might not have all of the information that you need right now in order to make a decision. So just, you know, um, be aware of that. Um, or this could just mean another, it's another message saying that explore what you're wanting to, to learn and know about. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the shell is concealing something and you need to dig deeper to uncover. Um, you've got the air card. It says new ideas can be formulated freely when intellect meets discussion. So, you know, the air signs in the zodiac are um, representative of um, the mind and, and uh, being sociable and curiosity logic you could meet an air sign in 2022 that's quite significant in your life it could be romantic or otherwise you're being invited to step out of your comfort zone this year capricorn because you've got the socks okay so this is asking you to stop living on the sidelines and start getting out more um, it says life can't always be lived to the fullest being a homebody don't let your socks stop you from feeling the grass Okay, so don't be complacent, don't be too introspective or lazy and stick to your, you know, comfort zone. Don't stick to the, the safe and familiar. This is time to expand your horizons. Okay, it's time to expand your wisdom. Maybe some of you are looking to expand your spirituality and ascend to a new level this year, okay? Yeah, definitely a lot of you could have a new business idea because um, this card is about you know, your finances, and it's kind of reminiscent of the Ace of Pentacles. So I'm definitely seeing a new financial venture, a new opportunity for wealth and prosperity, okay? A windfall. And it's next to magic, okay? This is Labradorite, which I always wear. Um, and so some of you, it will be a new spiritual venture, okay? Maybe some of you are going to... Um, Open up your own spiritual business. Okay, let's see what the animals have for you. Angels and spirit, show me what can Capricorn expect. What are the messages for Capricorn? 
for 2022, please. deck we've got the spider make your dreams real so what does the spider do it weaves a web so you'll be you know weaving a new um opportunity venture okay um you know the spider represents creativity as well um writing so some of you might be deciding to write your own book you've got the lizard dream the world into being so a lot about dreams here, make your dreams real, dream the world into being. So use visualization. Um, you've got open to infinite possibility. Wow, you've got a lot of opportunity this year. Um, you've got the coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. So an example of a divine detour would be, for example, losing your nine to five job during the pandemic but it forces you to come up with a new solution a new way of living a new income and it could lead you to you know your passion a better job that you could have ever that you never even imagined right that's a divine detour so I definitely see a lot of you embarking on something new. This is like the full energy. We have the porcupine spirit, which says time for beginner mind. This is about learning a new way, learning a new skill, being willing to make mistakes in order to learn, um, in order to grow. Um, and you've got the koala, spirit has a plan. So this goes hand in hand with the coyote. Trust in divine detours because spirit has a plan. There's a higher purpose to what's going on for you in 2022. Okay, so don't be put off if, you know, something bad happens, you know, something that you maybe didn't anticipate, something that kind of like knocks you off your perch. I feel like there's a higher purpose to it, okay? So let's move on to your love life. Let's let's have a look and see what is actually going on. I'm going to use this little deck first. Angels and Spirit, show me what's going on in Capricorn's love life in January, early January to mid-January 2022. Heart with a key. So this card talks about welcoming love, meeting the one, the need to open your heart. Um... Wow, it's a beautiful card. It's talking about getting together. Heart with a key. Interesting. Show me more about Capricorn's love energies for early to mid-January 2022. Okay, so the lightning card suggests that something unexpected but positive um, is going to occur. So be open to the unexpected um, in early January. You could be surprised, pleasantly surprised. So there's some kind of sudden change. Could be an epiphany, a revelation, something like that. One more card for Capricorn. Yeah, all right, you've got the love call. So you might be hearing from someone quite unexpectedly. Um... Someone's thinking of you and wants to let you know. Very interesting. You've got seduction. So, you know, there could be an opportunity for passion. Um, definitely could be a date on the cards with this heart with a key and seduction. But there's flirting. There's hookups. There's someone interested in you. Definitely by the looks of things here. Okay. Okay see um, what else we can get before we ask the tarot. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is going on for Capricorn in love. What's going on for Capricorn in love, please? Early to mid-January. What's going on for Capricorn in love? What's going on for Capricorn? 
healing. So it could be that you're healing from something that ended recently. It says healing can't be rushed. Breathe through it, work through it, and learn from it. So that goes back to the earlier messages about accepting struggles as valuable lessons, all right? And the need for you to find new ways to heal. What's going on in Capricorn's love life? There's someone who wants to reach out to you, but they could be fearing your rejection. We have fear of rejection. Um, they may be thinking it might be too late. You could be over them already, or you know they're wondering whether you will be able to forgive them. Okay. Uh, maybe it was a sense of wrong timing with this person because we have not the right time. Trust the journey. Maybe this person needed to go off and learn from their own mistakes before being ready for a commitment. Um, speaking of commitment, yeah, I just don't feel that they were ready, but they didn't want to lose you either. So I'm getting it just, yeah, it wasn't quite the right time for this person. We have slow and steady. So um, you need to allow this person to kind of overcome their fears. Uh, just kind of get to know them a little bit better and, and don't rush it. Just there's no rush with this person, okay? We have divine love here. So some of you could be in like a spiritual soul connection where you feel like you have like a divine mission together. All right. Let's see. Um, which deck do we want to go to? Um, I want to use the tarot. I want to see who is this person. Okay. Put that away. Angels and spirits, show me Capricorn's person of interest. Show me Capricorn's person of interest in early to mid-January 2022, please. I was going to say 21 then. Oops. Angels and Spirit, please show me Capricorn's person of interest early to mid-January 2022. Show me Capricorn's person of interest, please. So you've got the Empress. So um, this is someone who doesn't chase. You know, this is someone who knows their worth and kind of just waits for people to come to them. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. We have the Five of Swords in the reverse. This is definitely someone who wants to make amends. They want to overcome like a battle from the past. Um, you know, I always see the five of swords in the reverse as someone who wants to reverse a breakup. Okay, there was some kind of falling out and they want to heal it. We have the three of swords in the reverse. Again, there's a sense of, you know, there was past heartbreak between the two of you. We have the queen of pentacles in the reverse. Um, this is a lack of self-love, a lack of self-nurturing. Um, possibly someone had um, financial concerns. Um... We have the fool in the reverse. This would be trust issues. This person wasn't ready to take a leap of faith towards you. Um, we have the nine of cups. Uh, this is a card about you, you know, being this person's wish fulfillment, but they had to go off and take care of their own priorities is what I'm feeling. The nine of cups can be, you know, um, very self-focused. Actually, all of the nines, if you look at the nine of pentacles, that's independence, right? Um, the hermit is a very solitary energy. The nine of cups can be someone who's just focused on their own goals, their own happiness. Um, so I feel like that's this person. We have the hierophant in the reverse. So I really do feel that um, this person just wasn't ready to commit. They want to come towards you with this chariot card. Um, we have the King of Swords in the reverse. There's probably been a period of um, no communication. 
I feel like there could have been some mind games in the past as well. You know, King of Swords in the reverse can sometimes be quite manipulative. Um, but this person hasn't moved on from you. Six of Swords in the reverse. They're feeling stuck. They haven't moved forward. Um, they could be at a distance because we have the Six of Swords in the reverse next to the World card. There's definitely unfinished business between you and this person with this Death card in the reverse. Um, and we have the Four of Wands. I feel like they want to come together with you. They want to build something with you. They also want to celebrate. Two of Swords. Maybe they're going to be met with resistance. Um, you're going to be a little bit reluctant, a little bit hesitant when it comes to this person. Two of Swords next to the Hanged Man in the reverse. Interesting. Let's see what else we can get from this person. Angels and Spirit, please show me about Capricorn's person of interest. Early to mid-January 2022, please. person of interest please definitely feeling it could be Libra for some of you show me about Capricorn's person of interest please Oops. family could have been kind of like getting in the way between you and this person um, cultural differences especially with that hierophant in the reverse as well so the, could, the two of you could have different values, beliefs, or traditions that posed a challenge to this connection. Some of you, it could have been an age gap. Um, we've got release. When this person set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you, okay? Yeah, you really left a permanent mark on this person. Look at that. You left a permanent mark on their heart and that can't be erased. Even if they tried, you will always be remembered, okay? Let's see. Show me about Capricorn's person of interest, please. Yeah, I am seeing resistance. Um, they need time to answer the call of their soul and step into higher levels of consciousness. Remember I said they needed time to go off and make their own mistakes and learn from them? Interesting. We've got awakening. So this card says the awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and rec recognize the connection they have with you. Interesting. We can't expect people to be on the same level of consciousness or be on the same level of readiness for a relationship, right? We have unspoken love. They've been carrying a torch for you all alone, but unable to confess their love due to their fear of rejection. So there it is again, a fear of rejection, Capricorn. Interesting. Okay. So let's see what else you can expect. Angels and Spirit, what is coming up in this connection for Capricorn early to mid-January 2021? What can Capricorn expect moving forward? Communication. All right, so this person will be reaching out. Angels and Spirit, what can Capricorn expect moving forward in love? This person definitely has trust issues. We have the guarded heart, but I feel like you'll be a little bit like that too. So there's lingering trust issues. There's fear from past hurts, but love can't get through those walls. There's a need for forgiveness. There's a need to, to release past resentments. Yeah, see, this person needed to level up, okay? of the deck we have I'm ready to come clean I want to speak my truth and I did feel an apology was coming this person is really resistant to commitment we've got I'm really bad with commitment 
okay um spirit is saying follow your intuition find inner peace and balance um yeah that's what i'm getting let's get your advice Angels and spirit, please show me. Yeah, it was a case of wrong timing with this person. I know a lot of people don't believe in that whole thing. If it's not the right time, it's not the right person. But not everything is so black and white. Angels and spirit, what is Capricorn's advice? In love, in early to mid-January, please. Here's Capricorn's advice in love. Be sure to like this video. Comment below. Your engagement with my channel really, really helps me. Um, so thank you in advance for that Capricorn. I appreciate you and if you've made it this far, thank you for viewing. I know that there can sometimes be a lot of ads, but you know, it's just a small um, uh, energy exchange, right? Because I, I take a lot of time out to do these readings for everyone. Okay, here we go. We've got no. So maybe this person will be rejected by you. Uh, you'll be saying no to them. Um, you've got it's not the right time again has come out. So this card says that there's a need to just be grateful for the relationship that you had or that you, you have um, and the moments that you were able to share with this person. It can be hard to be grateful when you're in pain from a loss or disappointment. Um, sometimes we hold on to the past without moving forward, trapping ourselves in a low point of our lives. But there's a need for us to respect the other person's wishes and be on your way. And from there, we can heal. Okay. We've got thank you. So this is saying um, don't fall into the trap of um, putting the other person's needs before your own. You know, that's really good to make the other person feel worthy, but it comes at your own expense. So you need to be aware of, you know, where you're giving your energy because love should never be draining. Your love is precious to yourself and others. So be aware of who you're giving it to. Again, there's a need for one step at a time. So be patient and enjoy each step of the, the way. Um, we have exploration and knock knock both of these cards are asking you to expand your horizons in love get out more meet new people don't put all of your eggs in one basket because holding on to something or someone will unnecessarily block the way for new opportunities to arrive okay now i'm going to pull another um advice from this deck which is quite good for the singles as well so if you have absolutely no one um, this deck will be useful uh, if I can find it because I've uh, they're all buried all of my decks there's just so many I just had it before okay there it is all right angels and spirit what is the love advice for Capricorn in January please January 2022 let's see advice for Capricorn in love yeah I'm feeling this for you get out of the rut it says if something doesn't feel enough for you and you want to create more excitement, try to think about what needs to happen and be part of the solution. So what can you do to create more excitement in your love life or just in your life in general? So you might be feeling a little bit stuck. Okay, you've got two wrongs don't make a right they make a mess so if someone has done you wrong it's not justification for acting in a similar way figure out where your relationship went off track and choose the high road okay um yeah keep your options open i just finished telling you this do not be putting all of your eggs in one basket 
um, until you or the other person decides to take things to the next level, you should play the field, get a chance to figure out exactly what it is that you're looking for in a relationship. Um, uh, remember that you attract what you are, not what you want. So if you want love and if you want to attract the best, um, you need to be the best version of yourself. Remember that, okay? So this card is saying, you know, focus on shaping your own growth and you'll attract someone better because you are better too. Um, and, you know, the really um, valuable advice uh, at the bottom of the deck is, is um, forget what they say, what matters is what they do. Always, always. Um, actions speak louder than words, okay? So... I, I see this so much and across the board. Um, it's so important because it's so easy for people to say what you want to hear, right? And we can fall for the fantasies and we can fall for the romance and we want to believe all the nice, sweet nothings that they whisper in our ear. But do they back up their words with action? So let me know if this resonated with you, Capricorn, in the comment section. And I will see you next time. Happy birthday. Bye.